she um, inadvertently, I mean, let, let's just review this very quickly. What she made clear was that Trayvon Martin thought that Zimmerman was a rapist, a, a gay male predator. That's what she said. She told Trayvon to run, 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 because the guy might be a rapist. Trayvon's describing, describing him to her. He said, well, you got to run, Trayvon. And uh, she pointed out that uh, Trayvon wasn't that kind, meaning he's not gay. And then she reminded everybody that Trayvon's little brother was at the house where he was staying and uh, it, it didn't, didn't want that predator following them home with the little baby there. So it wasn't racism. It was homophobia. Trayvon Martin was homophobic, as admitted to by Rachel Gentile. Not supposed to say that, and it didn't get picked up anywhere after making the point yesterday. Then what we also learned, that Rachel Gentile, uh, I don't know, accidentally, uh, inadvertently admitted that it was Trayvon that was the aggressor. Because she had told uh, uh, Piers Morgan that uh, it was silly of Zimmerman to assume he was being killed. It was Zimmerman's fault. He didn't understand that what was going on was a case of whoop-ass. Trayvon wasn't trying to kill him, and it was Zimmerman's fault for not understanding that. The cultural differences were such that Zimmerman just didn't get it. It was just whoop-ass. Well, here it is. Here's Rachel saying this. Uh, Piers Morgan question, do you think it was just wrong um, that you had no black people on the jury at all? They don't understand. They understand he was just bashed or he was killed. When somebody bashed somebody, like blood people, trust me, in the era I live, that's not bashing. That's just called whoop ass. Mm. You just got your ass whooped. That's what it is. Would Trayvon, if he had been attacked or had been confronted, and he was scared. Would he have whooped ass, as you put it? Whoop ass. Okay, so uh, again, I, as a public service, will do my best to explain this. Piers Morgan says, do you think it was just wrong that you had no black people on the jury? And Rachel Gentile said, they, I assume the white jury, and, and none of the rest of us either. They don't understand. They understand he was just bashed or he was killed. Now, I assume that means it's one of the two. He was just bashed, he was just killed. Those are the two things that could have happened. And then she explains, when somebody bash somebody like blood people, now, many of it real, Linda said, what is a blood person? No, that's not what she means. When somebody bash somebody, like blood people, the way, God, I don't know, I, I really, well, I mean, I know how I would say it, but I'm going to get ripped. What, 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 what she's saying here was, when you beat somebody up and they get bloody, you beat somebody up and they start bleeding. Trust me, that's where I live. That's not bashing. That's just whoop ass. So when she said when somebody bash somebody like blood people, that means when somebody bashes somebody, beats them up and they start bleeding, trust me, where I live, that's not bashing. That's just called whoop ass. You just got your ass whooped. That's what it is. Well, she just inadvertently said here that Trayvon is ass whooping Zimmerman. That that the left and the civil rights gang they are totally invested in the opposite picture that it was Trayvon being whooped ass and bloodied. But we know that it was Zimmerman who got bloodied. So Piers Morgan, realizing the damage here, what, and this is when a, an audience member was caught on camera, jaw dropped, realizing what had just been admitted to here, that Trayvon was doing a little whoop-ass. 
And that Zimmerman should have just known he wasn't getting killed here. He would just, because she says, they don't understand. He would just bash or he was killed. Well, in this case, he was bashed. She's presenting the options in her generation. The new school. You either get bashed or you get killed. And when you get bashed, it's whoop ass. You get bloodied up, it's whoop ass. Or, or, or else you get killed. But nobody being killed here. Zimmerman should have known he was just getting beat up. And Piers Morgan realized uh, how damaging this bit of information was. So he said, well, what would Trayvon, if he had been attacked, or had been confronted, and he was scared, would he have whooped ass? As you, so so uh, Piers Morgan, trying to save the day, asked Rachel, well, okay, um, if Trayvon had been attacked, if Trayvon was on bottom, could you still do whoop ass in defense? Could you do whoop ass in self-defense? Now, I guarantee you, nobody does whoop ass in self-defense. Whoop ass is an offensive maneuver. Can we all admit that? Whoop ass is offense, and getting ass whooped is defense. Okay? So she clearly describing Trayvon here as the aggressor, and Piers had to come in and try to save that. And he continued it, try, trying to... to, to recast what she had just said. Would he have